In this example, I'm going to use quintuplets and septuplets over a basic blues and B flat. And uh, these are very interesting because they have a completely different feeling to the usual eighths and sixteenths that we use in, in a typical jazz situation. So have a listen for the quintuplets in the second chorus and the septuplets in the third chorus. And I may use some triplets in different groupings as well, probably in groups of fours, maybe later on if everything goes well. So here we go. So there we heard the different subdivisions and I think you can hear that they're very interesting when you go into them, they have a completely different feeling. The quintuplets kind of feel like triplets that are very laid back and the septuplets feel like uh, triplets that are drinking a lot of coffee or something. So these are interesting things to work on and uh, can really add variety to your rhythmic playing.